Good evening, everyone. Santa here. Coming on to show items that I will have at my live auction on Monday. That's this Monday, September the 27th at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, here on my channel. Thelma will serve as my auctioneer again this time. Very appreciative of that. Thank you, Thelma, if you see this. But these are the items and some of the items, there may be more, some of them may not get there. Um, if you let me know for something in particular you're interested, you see here, either down in the comment section of this video or the day of the auction is fine too, but it's probably better if you let me know ahead of time. But I wanted to mention that I'm gonna start, I'm gonna have the auctions every other week, every other Monday, and the Mondays in between, I'm gonna have the live buy it now sales where I'm gonna do like a lot of lots and things like that. But anyways, um, let me get started showing you guys what I found that I plan on bringing. Um, I hope there's, you see something you like. Um, I found a, uh, this is a, found a Trafari. I'll bring this. This is in great shape too. This is Lucite. This is a Traf Crown Trafari Waterfall Necklace. This one has the, they call them amber. I've seen people call them amber colored or root bear. But this is nice. It's Lucite. Like I said, three strands. I'll bring that crown safari with me. It's in real good shape. There's no fading or anything on this. There wasn't any on the gold one I sold either. I typically try not to sell things that do a fading. If they do, you will know. Um, what else do I have? I have a nice little rope of garnet. Well, long rope of garnet. It's pretty nice. I'll bring that. These I've shown before. Sterling little cuffs sterling and turquoise are pretty nice actually of those i have a monet um this is nice it's like a tail color it's fine there's just dust on it you know tail enamel little monet it's like 16 inches i think i have a joan rivers um ultra long joan rivers necklace hair faux pearls and gold and it's in great shape too i'll have that I found Crown Trafari. I've never seen this before. You know I'm new at selling. Um, this is Crown Trafari faux pearls, and I've never seen one. But I have that. I'll probably bring that. A lot of cost, vintage costume with names, and I know people like. I've been on a, a hunt um, hoping people are interested. Anyways, this is supposed to be shaped like a bear. If you can see it, it's a crude shape. It's amber, of course, and it's amber and sterling there we go i can do it in light on some a lot of the amber you can see it still so i didn't have to get and turn the light out there's his head his little feet feet and tail that is a crude shape of a a bear on sterling with that what else do i have um probably shown us this is um oh my god oh god i can't remember uh it's amethyst fluorite, I think. The one that's different, like colors and um, foil glass. I have that if anybody's interested. This crown trafari um, statement necklace. This is like three inches, and it's double layered, double chain. I have that. I have some sterling and earrings. I believe these are faceted Laramore. They're definitely sterling. They're pretty, really nice earrings. Actually, look at them. Nice, nice pair of earrings. Um, lapis. Do you see the gold specks in it? These are sterling. Those. The puffy heart hair. I haven't shown everything. I'm not showing, I mean, I don't know if I'll bring it on just showing so you guys give me interest. That's a blue topaz and abalone and sterling little necklace. Um, I have a liquid silver links. Yeah, there's a little links, but it's liquid silver signed sterling here on those little puffy heart on a nice chain nice heavy um i put it on this sterling what do they call those bathroom bathtub chains i can't remember what they call them but it's got a nice weight to it. it's pretty nice just that a little set of anora pearls um sat in sterling and Oh, <laughs> this is this is really nice actually. This is Duchess, K, Kenneth J. Lane, Duchess of Windsor. 
I'm gonna bring this. It's nice. It's a very nice um, brooch. And then the cruciform, um, Joan Rivers cruciform brooch. I'll bring that one this time. Mimi, Mimi 19, didn't, uh, didn't, DN, I think it is, 1975 Lion Door Knocker. Yeah, it's Mimi, D I, and an N. 19, 1975 is when it was made. I'll bring that. Somebody asked me to. I showed it in a video. And I will. I don't for say collect that. Um, I have a cup. This is cool. Sterling Onyx. These are Sterling Silver Perfume bottles. I have two of them, different types. This one's pretty nice. Let's see, it comes out. Put perfume in there. I have that one. And I have another one. It's a little lighter of weight, but it's still nice. And it opens and you can put perfume in it. Those. This little glass cameo. It's in great shape. It's absolutely, you know, fading. You can wear it as a pendant or a brooch there. I'll bring that. A couple of sterling bracelets. This one's small. I know I have a, um, I mean, if you're, when I was young, I could have worn this some five foot and I used to be 100 pounds and I could have easily worn this. It's just a little smaller than normal. And then I have this one. They're both sterling. Um, simple thing. Let me just show everything else real quick that I picked out to show. I believe this is full sterling, uh, Brighton. I tested it in a place that's not visible and I scraped them pretty deep into it and not enough to damage it, but it's coming through as, um, as full sterling there. Um, solid sterling. I can't find a mark on it though. I'm going to keep looking. Amber earrings. These are harder to see it with, but when you put it to size, you can see the green. And I have, this is, late, I believe, 1950s, late 1940s. If anybody's on here that knows that wants to correct me. It's definitely 1950s. I can be comfortable with that. I saw, I believe this is something, Mad, Mad Man in the Garden. I saw the exact same, um, but different color. And these look like birds to me. A vintage, beautiful uh, cabochon and faceted green rhinestones with, see, so you can see it even the hole, it lets the light in, and it has AB stones with the clip earrings. I'll have that up for sale. These are Eisenberg Ice. Those. I don't, I think these are... These are definitely a stone. I'm not really certain what kind. It, um, I'm thinking snowflake obsidian. They are sterling and they're nice. No matter what kind of stone they are, they're really cool earrings. I'll most likely bring those. I have a big pair of um, onyx and vintage sterling earrings. Those. This is nice. Sterling amethyst and onyx. It's cleaned a little bit. Pendant tuna bracelets. This one's sterling and onyx, and this one is amber. Which I can show you the day of. It's not like I have to do it here. Um, but I don't put the lights out. So you can see the green. Um, I don't put the lights out when I do it. I can't. I'd have to get up and run across the room. I'm in a. It's a larger room, and the lights are up above me. Um, JJ. I'm going to let that go, although I love frogs, if anybody likes it. I love frogs. I have enough of them, though. See, I have one on a lily pad. I have a Murano-style one in a, one on a lily pad back there. It's really adorable. I bought one. These are solid. These are really nice, actually. Solid heart, uh, sterling heart earrings. They're um, like five grams each, and they're nice. They're not hollow. They're a nice earring. I will bring those. I'm almost done, guys. Oh, these. These are sterling and turquoise. I don't know what these are. Are these amber camphor glass? I do not know. They're sterling. I know that. And I was going to bring those if anybody was interested in those. This. Tribal looking mask. And that's about it. I have a, This is just laying here. I mean, this is alpaca. It's a nice one, though. It's cute. 
But that's that's what I picked out so far. There may be more. That's a lot, I think. Um, this is emergent. This is a cool, looks like a swan kind of. It's a vintage enamel gold tone brooch in great shape. But that's what I picked out. If you want to comment below what you're particularly interested in, let me know. Oh, and him. I, I don't know if this is bone or what this is. Or so it's feel, I don't know what it is. I have to try to figure that out. I'm kind of leaning away from bone, but kind of looks like it though in a way. I really don't know. But it's a a warrior head. He only has a f face on one side. <laughs> His lips are very cool, funny looking, I thought. But anyways, I have that too that I'll bring if anybody's interested in it. Um, I'll bring it if nobody is and nobody is. That's it. That's it's what it is. But oh, and I have some rings, a couple cool ones. Um, this is a poison ring. Um, onyx poison ring, amethyst, blue flash, um, laboratory, and that's a little knot ring and a little band, and tiny garnet ring. This one's only like a five and a half, though, or a five, can't remember, but it's pretty. That's what I have so far. I may have more rings. I don't know. I'm waiting for some to get here, and I'm going to go out and look on Monday, see what I can find to bring to auction that people might like. But that's what I have so far, guys. That's it. I know I keep saying I'm going to go, but I really am this time. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular you would like to see of the items that I showed on Monday. And I hope to see you guys there on Monday. Um, all right. Thank you. Have a good night.